Okay, we'll do a couple more, couple more um, switches while we're at it. <clears throat> These are temperature controlled switches. And I'm going to get back to this. This is a, it says heating thermostat here, but it's not always a heating thermostat. This diagram right here indicates the switch opens when the temperature increases. So you have, and, and this will make more sense, and, and we'll come back to this. This will make more sense in just a little bit. So that's how that works. When the temperature increases, it, it expands this little symbol right here. This is a temperature controlled device when you see that, and it expands and pushes that open. And also conversely, if the temperature falls to a certain point, this is going to come back down and close that switch. So this is open on temperature rise. So it will go, it moves in that direction as the temperature goes up and it closes when the temperature falls. The other thing that gets confusing with this is you might see this diagram that looks like this in, in a schematic diagram. This is hard to draw with. Okay, so if you see this, this, this symbol in a schematic diagram, this means it's normally open. And then if the temperature, if the temperature falls, it makes that switch, but it could also be a normally closed temperature switch, which will open when the temperature rises. I know it's kind of confusing, but we'll look at the, that again but you can see it both in the open and closed position on the schematic diagram. But you just need to know that as temperature goes up, this opens, as temperature goes down, it closes. And they and temperature switches have different ranges in which they open and close. And then here is a, let me cross that out. This is a close on temperature rise, which closes the switch when the temperature increases and opens the switch when the temperature decreases. These little symbols right here will make a little bit more sense in just a bit, but I want you to picture as the temperature increases, this little symbol accordions out and pushes that contact close. And then it shrinks back down and pulls back down like a kind of like a spring when um, the temperature falls. Okay, so here are a couple of temperature actuated switches that you might find. And there, there's quite a few different ones. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a temperature limit switch that you would see on a gas furnace or an electric furnace that opens on a temperature rise. And usually these switches are used for safeties. If something gets too hot, it's going to open up and break that circuit. So um, in this switch, if it gets too warm, this is going to break open the circuit and disable whatever it is controlling. Here's another one, same thing. And this is manually reset. Some of them re will reset when the temperature comes down, but this is one that pops and you have to manu manually reset it. That's a safety switch for sure if you have to reset it. Here's another one. This is this goes in the heat exchanger of a gas furnace. And this is the uh, one that changes temperature and it controls the defrost on a heat pump. So temperature controlled switches, you could have several of them in just one piece of equipment. 